Hi folks! Champagne Friday again. Actually, we're cheating a little bit. It's Saturday morning on the 10th of June. Why? It's the date that I've been speaking about for all the champagne producers to send samples to me to taste during three months time. And we have a big grand finale with approximately 100 champagnes today. So uh, it's a way where we blind taste every single bottle, and especially me, with different people, but with a group of 11 to 12 people each time, always the same group from Champagne Club. Um, and we always start with an aperitif that no one knows, he has to get in good shape, and that's when we start to drink a little bit, and we are spitting for almost the rest of the day until we take a lot of new things at the end. And I felt this was the perfect one, so I actually tasted it just before to see in the shade, not out in the sun, because it's rather warm. And also uh, preparing for everyone to be really on their toes for what we're going to do today. So we start at 10 o'clock and we finish at 12 o'clock in, in the evening. So 14 hours with two light breaks with very neutral, pure, clean food. So nothing to destroy the taste buds. And we will see afterwards which were the, the most famous and the most uh, fascinating of all the champagnes. This one is indeed very, very exciting. And it was not only on the paper. It's, uh, if you look at this one, it's a very new project starting in as an idea in 15, as a reality in 17, because the harvest is entirely from 17. And it is for the first time ever, all 17 Grand Cru villages. You know all the Grand Cru villages? They're not so tricky. There are two which people normally forget. It's Puisel and beaumont Sylvestre. Those two are, are the tricky ones. Wari sometimes you tend to forget. Who are making this? 15 super producers. Um, we, we have uh, people like Bonville for uh, Avis. We have uh, Secondes both for uh, the Seconde um, uh, in uh, Sillery and the Pucel. We have Barneau for Boussy. We have, uh, let's look at, let, let, let's look at this one. They take a 17th part. I know them all, but it's tricky in front of the camera. So it's Barneau, Boussy. It's Frank Bonville, Avis. Choupi, Auchet. Deschassis, Louvois. Sabine, Godmier, Versenay. Juliette, L'Allemand, Versy. Tourgeman, L'Amiable, of course. Le Grand Haas, Chouilly. Maillé Champagne as Remy, the only one I don't know that well. Richard Flignot, one of my oldest friends that I rarely taste to today. François Secondé and Secondé Simon Sillery Ambonnet. Those are the 17 and they take exactly a 17th part, put down into the pressure and to the press. And then the, everything of the unification is done in the press, the blending. And then it's vinified in Aïe. Avis. So it's a fantastic concept and uh, rare champagne. So we got all these kind of Grand Cru's, which ends up in 65% Pinot Noir, 35% uh, of, of Chardonnay. And the purity of this one is exemplary. It's extremely rich, it's extremely good, and it's very Grand Cru. I take a nose again. Now we are a little bit disturbed by some stupid guys who are all already drunk. Uh, doesn't matter, because no one can disturb us with this. So this is the start, extremely full-bodied, uh, so rich, not so much grower style, not so wild as I expected, more like the terroir has been melting together in a beautiful harmony. You can read about that and you can read about all the other tasting notes of the approximately 100 champagnes or even more since we are making them over a couple of months time and a few are coming too late so we need to taste those afterwards. So a big day for us, the Julien Big Champagne Tasting 2023, actually the 14th in a row. Join me.